Alright, what is going on guys? My name is Tamar, and uh, this is finally my next tutorial. Yay, I know. It's been quite a while. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm just going to get right into it. This is the Cinema 4D tutorial. The sync tutorial. So this is how to sync Cinema 4D to sound. To make your intros you know, a little more give them a little more depth to your production value so just make it look nicer the first thing you want to do is you want to go up into the MoGraph and you want to go to Effector and you want to go down to Sound you want to go to the Sound Effector, click on that and um, you should have something that looks like this if you don't, whoops, if you don't have something that looks like this and I don't know, try going to like effector and parameter or just uh, effector. You don't really need the parameter. So go to effector, or I'm pretty sure it'll already be here. Go to the, your sound file and find one of your songs. Now, the thing is, you don't want to take a full song because if you get a full song, it's going to start from the beginning of the song. If you want to get the bass drop, you're gonna have to cut the song so it starts where you want it. Example, you could go on the internet and you could you you could go to mp3cut.net and this website is very useful. All you have to do is just open a file, select whatever song you want, cut it, and then download it. Download the cut version. Uh, so yeah, which I'm just gonna download. I'm just gonna put in. I don't know. Sure. Luke Christopher, The Waiting Game. That's a good intro. Song. Um, so yeah, now that you have your song in, when you press play... You can see that it's playing here, and you should be able to just hear the song. So if you scrub through, you can hear that it also plays with, the, um, with wherever you go. Where you can the, the scrubber, the scrub through the song, in your intro. So, let's say, let's find where the bass drops. Let's say it drops at 65. So we're going to take the circle, we're going to keyframe it at 65, and we're going to go back to 55, and we'll just make like a nice camera movement. Um, we'll do that, and we'll go all the way to the beginning. I want to make it flow. So it goes like that. Maybe we can make this a little bit like that. It's on its edge a little bit. So that the bass drops here. So say we want to make it at that snare right here at 172. So. so it actually happens at 174. So we're going to skip ahead by like two frames, it's three frames, and we're going to take the camera, and we're going to keyframe it, we're going to go back by like, wait, what was that, 177, we're going to go back to 167, so that's 10 frames earlier, we're going to make it a little different, keyframe it so it kind of moves during the intro, and we want it to move back, so we'll move it up like this, and now you can see it'll move when the keyframe hits, or when the snare hits, and, or the hat, sorry, I don't, I don't know, man, I don't know, but, you can see it happens, and you can just adjust the placement of these keyframes to the time, and whatever looks good, that can be it, so, say you want to move just your text back when that happens, uh, you'll want to go to circle, you're going to find where you, where the first keyframe was, Keyframe your text, go ahead 10 frames, and then keyframe your text again. So you can make your text rotate once, so that's 360 degrees, and keyframe it again. And you can make that maybe a little slower than normal. And to make it go away, you like that, raise it up just a little bit. Keyframe it so that when your text goes, it goes like that. 
So yeah, now that we have the animation, um, we can just do our camera. We can make it come out and then do our normal stuff. Oh, wait, forgot. You need to keyframe it. Go forward a little bit, keyframe it. Go forward more. Keyframe it. I'm gonna go forward a lot. Keyframe it. And I wanna get to here. I want it out out a little bit more. So that it goes in and it comes out. And when it goes like that, when it goes to 177, we can make the camera go back. So it gives the illusion that the text is actually falling back. And then that looks good. We can go to 2.30 and we can make our camera spin off. And... wait, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Your camera. Zoom in. Keyframe it. And we should get it up. Oh, whoops, I forgot it. Dang it, I forgot it. This keyframe. I'm gonna copy that. Just here. And you do want to change this a little bit. Uh, just so it moves. Oops, did I not keyframe that? I don't know why it was doing that, but... Okay, I guess... Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna move it like that. Now we got that. We got our we got our Cinema 4D synced to the song. And it's looking pretty good. So now all we have to do is add in our textures and render it out. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to uh, sync uh, music to your animations in Cinema 4D. Um, I'm Adamar, and thanks for watching.